I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. New Year, New Year's resolutions, and the year of our Lord. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available for on all major platforms. Share our content. That'll help us sort of um, build a base and also donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us putting the gospel, the good news of Jesus, in the ears of youth all over the world. So uh, New Year's means New Year's resolutions. Thank God 2020 is over with. No promise that 2021 will be better, uh, but we'll get to that later on this week. Uh, New Year... Uh, our calendar, we actually use a Roman calendar. January is named after Janus, the Roman two-faced god. New year and celebration of the new year and resolutions all come from the celebrations to that pagan god. Um, it was sort of like a new life festival in, in Elder Scrolls, uh, but also, um, you know, it just makes sense that when you change a calendar that you'll decide to do better. And simply because of its its sort of pagan roots does not mean that a resolution isn't bad. Uh, just ask your neighbor if it would be good for you to maybe change, uh, be better. Ask the people you live with if you being a little happier might not make them a little happier. And so whether it is um, you losing a few pounds or um, maybe it is that you're going to cut back on some, uh, some excess, uh, Things which are not prohibited by the scriptures or things that are, are encouraged by the scriptures are certainly fair game for you to change. Um, cutting out the sugars isn't biblical, but gluttony is certainly a sin. If you feel better, skinnier, if you feel better when you eat less, that might help in service to your neighbor. And so I'm all for making a few New Year's resolutions few New Year's changes. Now, uh, even though the calendar is uh, Roman, it uh, the year is Jesus's. And you can tell that by the year to 2021, Anno Domini. A.D. It's not after death. It's Anno Domini, year of our Lord, which confesses that no matter what calendar you use, um, our times, our dates, our seasons are in his hands. Everything about our life, everything about our, our, our year, our hour, our minute, our second, all comes to us as gift from the God who gave up his son, whose son bled for us. New Year's Day, eight days after every child, um, every Jewish little child was circumcised and given a name. And he was given the name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins, the same name the angels gave him. His name tells us what his year is all about. His year is all about saving you. Saving you. And those around you, too. And so, a blessed 2021 to you as you uh, start the year off right, engaged in the Lord's words and promises. Any resolutions you make, free to do them in order to better love and serve those around you with the salvation that you want that you received, excuse me, you didn't win it, he he won it, you receive it in the word, the water, and in his body and blood. I'm Pastor George Borkart. You even there, there, buddy? He's good. And this has been another Higher Things video short.